Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today I wanted to discuss how you can uh, select a university or an institution for doing PhD or for pursuing your PhD degree. There are some important point that you, uh, points that you should consider before joining a uh, university or an institution. These uh, points are relatively simple. You already uh, may be unaware of these points. And I, still I wanted to discuss these points because sometimes uh, we skip these points and uh, they can make a huge difference. Some of the important points that I consider is uh, university ranking infrastructure of the host institution, what kind of faculty profile that uh, a university has, and uh, what kind of uh, research or uh, what kind of tools and techniques that you are going to learn in that particular department. So these are some of the important points. Let's discuss these uh, points one by one. Let's discuss first that is, what do I mean by university ranking? So. Uh, university ranking means uh, there is a ranking system that determines what is the worldwide ranking of the university, what is the national nationwide ranking of the university. So you should uh, know what is the ranking of your particular university that you wanted to join. The university ranking system is based on on the fact that what kind of research is happening in that university, what kind of infrastructure, or what is the quality of the student, what is the quality of uh, faculty members. Overall, they consider all those factors and then they give a university a particular ranking. So it is really important, obviously, that what kind of uh, university, what is the ranking of the university that you will be joining. So my recommendation will be join the top notch uh, university in the world because that is going to save a lot of hassle that you're going to face later in your life. So if you have experience with uh, uh, top ranked university uh, of the world, then obviously you're not going to have uh, that much hard time in finding a job uh, or uh, getting into a particular career that you wanted to pursue. And also you are going to uh, get uh, familiar with a uh, great infrastructure where you are going to learn a lot of skills. So that will uh, that will obviously determine your future. So it is really important that you consider the university ranking. A second important point in this case will be the infrastructure. You can uh, determine the infrastructure by visiting that particular host institution you can uh, determine the infrastructure by just skimming through the website and uh, most of the universities and institutions they provide the details of the tools and technique because they are they need to advertise their their facilities so that they can attract maximum number of uh, students so you can visit all those uh, websites and all those pages and uh, make note of all those tools and technique and compare those tools and techniques that are available in different universities. So uh, it is really important that what is your research in interest and what are the techniques that you want to learn and whether that particular institution is going to provide uh, the appropriate infrastructure for your training. So it is really important that you consider these points. Next important point is the uh, department. So Obviously, you are going to join a particular department and uh, you should do some research on that uh, on that department regarding what kind of training uh, they, they usually uh, give to their student, what kind of uh, faculty members are there in department because when you join that particular department, you are going to get uh, uh, trained in various techniques, you are going to uh, go to various seminars, symposiums, and that is going to arrange by all the departmental faculty members. So if you have high quality faculty members in that particular department, you are most likely going to get a good experience. And above all, uh, those faculty members are going to uh, give you as a recommendation in future. So you are going to build good contacts 
at the at the uh, basic at the base stage right so from your phd you are going to have uh, good contacts and uh, in research it is really important that you collaborate with right people and uh, you collaborate with uh, the people that are uh, top in their particular research area so point number two which is really important you should consider uh, the infrastructure and then point number three you should uh, three you should consider the departmental uh, infrastructure as well as the faculty members in that particular department another important point is uh, you should also do some research on the alumni of that particular institution means uh, what is the uh, quality of the placements that that people are getting from that particular institution if you graduate from that institution and then most of the placements uh, they are really good from that institution that means you are obviously going to get the same kind of uh, exposure same kind of opportunities uh, in your future uh, if you graduate from that university so it is really important that you consider this particular point uh, where are the um, what is the future of the pass up students uh, from that particular university so again let's rewind what are the points that we already discussed before selecting a particular institution what you should do is you should find out the university ranking you should find out the infrastructure that is available you should uh, also look for the departmental facilities, uh, tools and techniques that you're going to learn. Also find out uh, what is the faculty profile and what kind of research that uh, the faculties they are doing in the department. So you can personally visit the labs, you can personally visit the faculty members, they are always really helpful. Uh, to talk to you they will explain uh, uh, the research that uh, they are doing and they are always open to such kind of conversation so it is really important that you do your research on your end then also interact with the faculty members visit the university visit the institution before selecting that institution for your PhD another important point that I want to uh, mention is what is your interest? On the basis of your interest, you can also filter out the institution. For example, if you wanted to do research in stem cell, so you can uh, cherry pick the institution that do a good quality research on stem cell. If you are doing, uh, if you are uh, interested in doing research in synthetic biology, if you are interested in doing research in uh, infectious diseases, uh, microbiology, biotechnology, uh, genomic, uh, uh, genomics. These are the kind of uh, the, uh, the important points that you can consider by just focusing on particular research area and then choosing that particular institution which is top in that particular research area. So that is another factor that you should consider while uh, selecting the institution for your PhD. And uh, uh, I will I'll make more videos that are going to help you in your uh, in your PhD training that are going to uh, that provide you guidance during your PhD uh, so stay tuned and I wanted to share my knowledge I wanted to share my experience with you guys because because uh, when I was doing my PhD I always uh, needed advice and uh, all the mentors all the friends all the members uh, family members they were always there so the advice from my mentors from my teacher always helped me so i wanted to share my experiences and i hope those experiences uh, will help you in uh, achieving your dream of completing phd so thank you for watching the video stay tuned take care